2024 Tour de France Stage 1. The breakaway made it a Roman Bardet blockbuster here on the Italian coast in Rimini, starting from Florence, the cradle of the Renaissance, to finish here after over 200 kilometers. And yeah, the breakaway made it. And the breakaway rider I'm talking about is Frank Vanderbrook, who finished second, Team DSM rider, who helped his teammate Roman Bardet in his last Tour de France secure the stage victory after the Frenchman attacked up to join the Dutchman. And along with stage victory, of course, you know, in stage one comes the famous Mayo Jean, which will mean so much for Bardet. Four stage win in the Tour de France, but to put on the Mayo Jean, it means a heck of a lot. I want to talk about those riders. I want to talk about who finished third on the stage and what happened behind. First, let's talk about how it all unraveled. We had a breakaway in that escape with Mate Morhich, a strong breakaway rider. The South African, Ryan Gibbons, also in there, Valentin Madois from Team Groupama FDJ because that team was having a hard day out, so he played an important role. Early on in the day, we saw those images of Mark Cavendish, who's here to try to win, win number 35 and break the all-time Tour de France stage win record. He's now tied with the great Eddie Merckx. Well, frankly, coming into this race, uh, we've seen him not climbing well in previous races, in the Tour of Hungary and other races, the Tour of Turkey that he's done. So it was no surprise he wasn't climbing well right away on the first climb in stage one of the 2024 Tour de France. All the Astana teammates dropped back with him all but one. They kept one rider up front, hoping that Mark Cavendish could at least survive the day and race on to another day and perhaps a chance to win a stage. But with so many top sprinters here, it's a tough task for the Isle of Man rider. They saved his day. He was second last on the day. I'll already break the news for you. The last rider on the day was Fabio Jakobsen, who's also from Team DSM. Now, up front, Frank Vanderbrook was part of that move. You would have heard his name earlier this year in the Tour of Turkey. He was going so well there, picked up a stage win, 23 years old. Then he got the call over the radio. Hey, Roman Bardet's attacked. It was about two climbs out, I think, or, and he attacked, joined up, Frank Vanderbilt dropped back a little bit. At that point, he had a couple of riders still up the road, including Jonas Abrahamsen from uh, the team Uno X, the Norwegian. At the end of the day, thanks to all of his work over the climbs, he would get the polka dot jersey, the Mayo Pois. That was in a big move out for the Norwegian, riding for the Norwegian team, uh, because never has a Norwegian won the polka dot jersey, worn the polka dot jersey, as to say. And he took it at the end of the day today. And what a hard day of racing, folks. 4,000 meters of climbing, seven climbs on the day from Florence over the Apennines to arrive here on the coast in the region of Emilia Romagna leaving Tuscany behind today in our three-day odyssey here in Italy before we cross over the Alps. A tough day out of racing, and we thought the GC teams, particularly Tadej Pogacar, would light things up behind today. UAE, well, they were at the front on some of the climbs. It was EF Education really working hard all day to try to set things up for Alberto Bettiol. He didn't seem to have the legs. We saw sprinter after sprinter getting dropped today. It was first Mark Cavendish. Fabio Jakobsen had a worse day in the end. They saved it for Mark Cavendish, but we saw some of the other sprinters being dropped as well. Arnold de Lee, he was riding well in the Belgian National Championship jersey. It wasn't to be for the GC riders. Uh, it wasn't to be for Jonas Vingago, who was feeling good in his first race back since April 4th. Also feeling good, and we saw him, here we go, third on the stage, Walt Van Aert. And they were closing down. We saw EF Education also working as well, closing down on the two riders only left up front, and there's the two DSM riders, and they weren't playing about because both of them were committed to the cause. 23-year-old Vanderbrook working for the experienced Bardet, who was once pipped as the next GC hope for French cycling, and he never lived up to that. But he did win some stages, and today was going to be his fourth stage win in the Tour de France, and it was all thanks to his young Dutch teammate who set things up and queued it up for Roman, who turned to look at his teammate and congratulate him for his help in the stage win when he crossed the line, victory in hands, and a massive win for the team, Team DSM, because take note, the team is one of the lower budget teams on the cycling circuit for them to pick up a stage win in the Tour de France and do it on day one and get the yellow jersey along with it. It is massive. The only thing bigger could have been had it been on French soil for Roman Bardet. Wasn't to be. Walt Van Aert came in. 
right away. Uh, I followed the riders coming in left and right. It was hectic. A lot of Italian fans are here to scream on for their fans. Walt Van Art turned, came back around, gave an interview. I caught the end of it, and we saw tears in his eyes. And why? Because I think he's so happy to come back after his suffering that he's had. He crashed in the doors door of Landern early. It ruined his classic season. He had a hard fight back, and he said ahead of the race that he really wasn't on form to win stages here. But he came close today. Five seconds they were off of the front DSM duo. And his only race back before this was the Tour of Norway and the Belgian National Championship. So it was a bit of an unknown how he'd go today. As to it was for his GC team leader, Jonas Vingago, the Dane, who performed well out there. At one point, we heard him over the radio say to his teammates, guys, I'm feeling good. The GC battle didn't materialize today. We thought Tade Pogacar would rip it up. Didn't happen. Instead, we saw a surprise duo, DSM ruling the day out here the first day in the 2024 tour de france celebration for dsm celebration here in italy and celebration in rimini for roman bardet